So yesterday we talked about the important symptoms regarding respiratory system. Okay. So which are very, very important to us in that two symptoms are very important. That is uh, cough and dyspnea. Okay. Other symptoms also we study like kinosis, hemiptosis. Okay. So everything is very important. But in that cough and dyspnea are very important. You have to remember that. Today we are going to talk about to diagnose the disease. What are the basic important medical uh, diagnosis things required? Okay. So let's talk about that. First, you can ask the patient. Okay. A physical examination. You have to ask the patient. In that, any one complaint is there. So, like yesterday, we talked about cough, dyspnea, chest pain, okay, shortness of breath, wheezing sound, hemiptyosis, uh, steroid, a uh, crowing sound, okay. Other than that, we have other symptoms like fever. You have to ask the patient. We have fever, okay, and weakness. Weakness and uh, general feeling illness, innerly feeling illness. These are also very important. Okay. <laughs> and you have to ask the past history, like past infection. Okay, very important. You can you expose this to chemicals. Uh, daily basis on or uh, in the previous uh, any or uh, in the last history you exposed to any clip chemicals okay exposed to chemicals okay i am writing in short form or any or uh, drug history this is also very important okay and ask about using any habits social habits like alcohol addictions smoking or drug history and what type of uh, work he or she do outside or in the home? Okay, traveling. How much tra you travels? You travel in the uh, very traffic area, or you travel to the city to city. Like the question you have to ask, and family history very very important. Okay. Your father or mother have any affected with any uh, deadly diseases of respiratory system like uh, TB. Okay, this is very important. And you have, whenever a patient of respiratory system comes to your clinic, you have to tell them to walk. Walk for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. This tells us the capacity of the lung. The patient have dyspnea. Or you have to talk with the patient while walking. Is he able to talk? Sometimes you have to advise to talk, uh, walk on the stairs also. Okay. And which gives uh, you the some types of regarding abnormalities of respiratory system. Other than that, these are these things very important. Okay. Other than that, you have to ask the patient. Uh, or check the color of the skin okay. because the color of the skin also tells about the uh, tells about the respiratory system very very important like yesterday i talked about kinosis okay this is very important sign of respiratory disorder okay bluish color skin or another color is yellowish color Yellowish color means indicates that uh, uh, light blue or yellowish color in indicates that the patient is in anemia, anemic condition. You have to check the nails, okay, and you have to check the eyes, tongue, 
okay skin of the color by pressing the skin uh, in how much time it taking to become the and to become the normal color so it will give the advice that a uh, hint that the patient is also having anemia or low flow of oxygen into the blood why this happen because of the uh, hemoglobin low hemoglobin okay and uh, you have to check with the stethoscope i also to tell that we have the lobes in the lobes you have to put the stethoscope uh, already we'll talk about physical examination these are the questions you have to ask with the patients okay so this is very important thing by this also we will get the idea of respiratory system disorders so what are the questions you have to ask about so so anyone uh, can tell that uh, they by asking you will know about the some idea you have will get the hint you ask the you you will uh, you smoke or not he he tell yes i will smoke i smoke every day one packet of cigarette or cigar or hookah like substance anything okay that indicates that this person will have some problems which affect the respiratory system with smoking okay so this is very important next by doing some test because sometimes we will not able to understand what happening inside the body so you need to do some regular test or important test okay so what are the basic and regular uh, test are performed to know about the respiratory system first is i already told you that you have to do cbp First is CBP complete. I don't know why it's not in writing here. So you have to check the CBP, okay, complete blood picture, which will give idea of the two things, very important. Here, uh, about the anemic condition, anemic condition also, uh, anemic condition also indicates the person have decreased red blood cells. That's the reason the patient have uh, color changes. Okay, second is it will give the idea of any infection in the body so if the person have cough with uh, some sort of discomfort in the chest chest pain or any type of discomfort so you can you can get the idea that the infection is in the lungs only so wbc here which uh, which uh, which thing you have to you will get What are the tests you can give? Uh, CBP. Okay, here I will write CBP, which will give us the idea of uh, anemic condition, anemia. Okay, and uh, after that, we will get the idea of infection in the lungs, which which will give the idea of infection that is TLC, total leukocyte count or WBC. WBC, white blood cell. 
white blood cell or blood count. Okay, so these are the tests we can advise the patient. Okay, next we have pulmonary function test. What is the next test? Pulmonary function test. So second test we will advise the patient that is PFT. What is the second test? PFT, pulmonary function test. Very important test. What is this test? You can see this image. This is the image where you have to hold a spirometer which is connected with the machine. Here also you can see the image. This is one of the image. You can see this is the machine which records. Okay, you have to and also will close the nose clip is given here and you have given the one uh spirometry pump okay nose is nose is cleaved here so you have to inhale you have to exhale both are recorded in this test okay so both are recorded in this test so pft what it will tell us uh, what three things it will give us the idea that is to we are moving the air in and out, okay, and exchange of carbon dioxide with oxygen, okay. So this test includes to measure the lung volume, how much amount of oxygen, how much of uh, amount of carbon dioxide is exhaling and inhaling, and how much take, how much time we are taking, okay. Okay, this is very important. And diffusion capacity also means the amount of oxygen is entering into the capillaries or alveoli to the arteries. Okay. And after exhaling the <clears throat> uh, exhaling the carbon dioxide or inhaling the oxygen, how much amount, some amount will restore into the lungs so how much amount okay so this type of measurements you can do here you can see that here volume here okay, residual volume expiratory reserve volume tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume so you started breathe breathe in so these are the waves you breathe in fully okay fully and then after you are going to exhale 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 so how much amount is here uh, in the lungs after exhale after inhale also so you can see that the spirometry, the pressure or ml here, 500, 5,800 ml. Okay. So you can see that this is the normal value of the male, more normal value of the female. Female have 5,800 ml minimum spirometry. You have to, you have to get this values. Then your lungs are normal. Female, you have this value. Then it is normal. Okay, this is very important test. <clears throat> so means if the test is done, any issues, what type of issues the patient will have like uh, bronchitis. You can diagnose with this help bronchitis, emphysema. We will discuss all these disease. Okay, and uh, larynx, tra trachea, problem in the larynx. Uh, trachea and sometimes patient need uh, artificial mechanism to inhale exhale the like a uh, ventilator with this help you can advise the patient you need ventilator support artificial inhaler and exhaler okay this is this type of problems we can diagnose with the help of pft pulmonary function test Next, we have sleep study.
sleep study is also a test which is used to diagnose different types of problems of respiratory system like breathing problem and how much amount of oxygen carbon dioxide is reaching to the brain okay and current controlling of breathing is respiratory rate is low that's so much low okay or else uh, you have sleep apnea okay during the sleep the respiratory rate is low and low amount of oxygen is reaching to the brain so this study can help us sleep study or the person is going to the deeper sleep how much amount he is sleeping deeply and abnormal sleep okay so sleep study will give us the idea of abnormality of the lungs also and sleep pattern also okay where we have to increase the sleep pattern next is we have to do uh, arterial blood test abg or arterial blood gases in that the sample is collected from the arteries okay any artery radial artery okay any artery the comfortable of the uh, uh, lab person okay biologist lab, a laboratory person I have AVG give the um, very good amount, so a very perfect amount of oxygen levels in the uh, blood and carbon dioxide level and pH level, sodium, potassium. Okay. These are the levels you can see in the AVG. So if the low amount of oxygen is there, it means the patient have issue in the uh, inhalation okay inhalation problem is there low amount of oxygen is reaching to the cells okay so we need to treat the patient okay so in the covid 19 or the patient went into the coma unconsciousness or any uh, cerebral issues or cardiac issues respiratory issues most or sometimes if you want to see the ph level the patient is in the acidic or base. If the patient is going acidic, uh, it is very uh, dangerous because carbon dioxide is increasing. Okay. So that things also can be seen in the ABG. And we have uh, another test that is very regular test. We know that that is chest x-ray. Chest X-ray will give you a simple idea of the lungs. And we have the uh, heart, heart cardiomegaly also can be seen. The size of the heart can be seen. Or the lungs, ribs, okay, clavicle bone, sternum bone, trachea, all can be seen in the Chest X-ray. So we will study about chest X-ray also. Okay, how to diagnose with chest X-ray. That uh, till that you have to uh, you will get the report from the radiologist. You can see that report and you can confirm the diagnosis. Okay. Next is bronchoscopy. So we have the one machine with the help of machine. The pulmonologist mostly pulmonologist will do the uh, test and you will send the on camera inside the trachea and you will see the lining anything which is problematic he will give the test he will do the test and he will give the result okay so this is all about chest x-ray bronchoscopy Next is very important. That is a uh, sputum test. Because if you want to see whether the there is viral infection, 
mostly bacterial and fungal infections you can uh, see okay um, sputum for efb like uh, and uh, acid bacilli you can uh, you can diagnose with this help of uh, the tb tuberculum test tb can be diagnosis and other types of bacteria any type of bacteria is present in the uh, sputum is that going to be done or fungi infection so this will give the idea of hey, what type of bacteria what type of fungi the patient is affected next we have <clears throat> histopathology that is biopsy biopsy the small amount of lung parenchyma or cell of the lungs can be taken from that any part of the lungs or affected part and it will go to the lab and they will see the biopsy, the cell structure, cell membrane. So everything will be seen. So anything affected, the cell membrane, cell nucleus, cell parenchyma, you will get into the result. Okay. So these are the minimum and important, uh, <clears throat> important uh, diagnosis tests which are performed. Uh, whenever a patient is suffered with respiratory system. Other than this, uh, there are other tests also. So these are the only systematic uh, diseases approach test. If the patient is affected with respiratory system, you can easily advise this test. Test X-ray, basically CBP, pulmonary function test, biopsies, sputum, okay, uh, and we have bronchoscopy. Okay, sleep pattern, you can see that. So all these tests are to be done to uh, diagnose the respiratory system disorders. So if anyone have any kindly ask.